In this video, we're going to learn how to create model documentation and understand the concepts around that inside of Autodesk Inventor. So here I have a circle plate IPT and a circle plate DWG from our working files directory. Inside of this IPT file, I can see I have a fully defined model with my extrusion and my fillet. It has all the holes in it, it's sized correctly, but I can't necessarily give this to my shop floor and say, hey, go ahead and make this. I would like to have a 2D documented print to accompany anything I might send off to the shop floor. Yes, you could open up a viewer on the shop floor if you're a progressive company that likes to do electronic documentation. However, a lot of shops still want to have a two-dimensional print. You have to have that for catalogs, for sending out the clients, for quoting, things of that nature. So we need to document this somehow. I'll go over to our circle plate DWG by clicking on that at the bottom of the screen. And I need to place in views of that model and then put dimensions on them so someone can better understand what this design is really about. Now, as mentioned in other videos, this is basically not copying in the file, it's simply referencing it in. So if I were to give this DWG file to somebody without the IPT file to go along with it, they would not be able to open it up effectively and work on it. These files are associative and they work together. In order to start placing in views, I'm just going to right click and choose the base view command. The file that's currently open in memory will appear. And I can simply place this where I want. I can even choose a different orientation to look at, but that's fine for me. I'm going to click over here as well and also to the upper right. So I'm basically creating orthographic and isometric views of this design. When I'm finished placing my views, because I only really need the two views there in the front and the right. I'm going to right click and choose OK. Now, if I need to modify these views for scale, I can do that. If I need to change the shading or showing of hidden lines, I can also do that. As an example, I'll just double click on the one in the upper right, and I will toggle this one to a shaded view by choosing that button and hitting OK. So I got the overall look to start documenting this. I got enough white space around my views to put dimensions in. So let's go ahead and do that. I'm going to right click and choose general dimension and simply place on a dimension here for that circle. I get a box that pops up. If I want to make any additional changes to that particular dimension. I don't. I'm just going to choose OK. And come over here and put a dimension between these two lines to show my thickness of that. Again, I don't need to add anything else here. So I'll just have the value. Now I can also add in things like center marks and center lines. If I go up here to my annotate tab, I can go here to my symbols and I can actually start placing in center marks or centered pattern references. So you pick your original center first and then the items you want to place on a centered pattern around that. Right click and choose create. Cancel out of that command and then choose general dimension. And then here I can document that bolt circle. Here I'll put BC behind it for bolt circle. So we have a better understanding of how this is being documented now for size and shape. Now, if I make a change to the IPT file, let me just cancel out of this command. Go back over to the circle plate IPT. We'll come in here and make a few adjustments. I'll go ahead and double click on sketch one. And here I'm going to make the size of the circle 0.375. I'm going to adjust the bolt circle here to move up a little bit. Instead of 1.25, we'll do 1.375. And I'll change the circle in the center as well to be 0.625. So you can see there's quite a few changes taking place there. I'll finish our 2D sketch by right clicking and choosing that option. I'll double click on our extrusion one here. I'm gonna make the thickness a little bit bigger. I'm gonna make it 0.375 for the thickness of this plastic. Okay, that. I'll double click on the fillet and change this from 0.03125 to 0.125. Now let's jump back over to the circle plate DWG and we're going to see those changes automatically take place as well as the dimensions will also automatically update. So our model documentation is kept updated based on our IPT. We can see why if we are missing the IPT file, then we would not be able to have these updates take place. This is referenced in, it is not copied in. 